there seems to be like a, a white porn business and a black porn business. You know, and you even see certain things like, you know, certain female stars, uh, you know, certain white uh, porn, you know, female porn stars will be advised not to do scenes with black actors early in their career and then maybe do that later on. Do you know what I'm talking about? I know exactly what you're talking about and this is a topic that I was hoping you were going to bring up and if you didn't bring it up I was going to ask you if we could talk about it. So let me tell you okay. a history of me with the interracial in the industry. Um, the industry is very racist. There's no doubt about it. There's a white industry and there's a very small culture uh, for us to do interracial and it's not even enough of a culture for some performers to survive because there's not enough companies doing interracial. If you notice the internet is lacking interracial. Uh, I don't I, I don't understand that but when I got in the business in the early 90s and signed my contract one of the things that I didn't understand was cable was buying my movies so because cable was buying my movies in the 90s cable did not show interracial and I was like what like it was blown away by this like this is what so when I got out of my first two years of being under contract I started to look around to companies that shot interracial and everybody said, oh, we can't shoot you in interracial because if we shoot you in interracial, then you're never going to get to shoot another feature again. I'm like, but this is like, I'm the performer, like I'm choosing who I am going to work for. So I went to shoot for Pussy Man, if you remember who he was. He was legendary in the 90s and he shot this series called Pussy Man Auditions. And we sat down and talked about it. And I said, I really want to work with Shawn Michaels. I really want to do this movie. And I want to do this movie and not do any other movies for a long time. And then I want to come back and for about six months, I just, I'm just only going to do interracial so that I can start to generate more scenes to be shot. And, and it was really a big, 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 big deal to me. So you know now 70% of what I shoot is interracial. And 80% of what I direct and produce is interracial. And I do it because... I want to give as much work and keep the money flowing in that business and keep it afloat so one day I can kind of have more of it really to my own. When I had my agency, I represented every black male performer because no one else ever represented a black male performer. Like, are you kidding me? This is, it was, it was so easy and I, I love what I was, how I was teaching them to grow and how many more girls I was introducing to them and I would tell the girls, your last agent who told you this is going to hurt your career is, it's his opinion. You have to have your own opinion as a star. Who do you want to be? Do you want to be Taylor Swift or do you want to be Rihanna? Like, you know, you have to decide. And I knew that I wanted to be who I am. And I've always just loved interracial sex. It's just normal. I think it's incredibly hot. I think it's very sexual to watch because it's very three-dimensional. You know, when you have a beautiful set of big black hands on a, on a nice white body and you get good pictures and stills of that movement, it's very three-dimensional and, 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 and sexual for people. That's the draw to it, and because the business keeps it as such a small culture, it makes it seem still taboo. But every agent tells their girls that, which is bullshit. And the sad thing is, I just went through this with someone who did her first interracial. And so, she, you know, they, they charge more for their first interracial movie, which again, in the real world, with a paycheck, hello affirmative action, that would not be legal. And I, I will never pay a girl more through my production company to do an interracial movie. That your rate is your rate. And uh, she said to me, well, after my first movie, how much more can I charge per scene for interracial? And my answer to her was this. Well, it depends how racist you are. 